All right, how you guys doing tonight? My name is Charles Martineau, Microsoft Specialist for the North Seattle area. Today I'm going to show you how to multitask really efficiently on a Windows 8 machine and how easy it is to do that with both a mouse and keyboard and on a touch-only device. So to do this, I'm going to do the same demonstration two times. The first time we're going to do it with a mouse and keyboard. So for this example, I'm going to use our finance app. And I have followed the Microsoft stock so if we're going to go ahead and launch the stock, I'm an investor or whatever, and I'm, you know, doing my money. So it's going to go ahead and launch the Microsoft stock here in a second. And this is within an app, of course, a Microsoft app. So you can do lots of things from this, within this app. You can read news stories that involve this stock. You can see different statistics. You can come over here and click at different points in the, in the statistics and then come over here and see different ones pertaining to where I selected. Um, but what I'm going to show you is, let's say I'm uh, you know, analyzing different stock amounts and where my money's going. So I can actually come up here and left click and, and drag this application to either side of my screen. Um, for this, we're gonna drag it to the left side. One thing that it does really well is it puts this in a very easy to read view where I can see all the different stocks that I'm investing in. And then I can fill this empty space with something else. So now I'm going to just left click in the empty space. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use my desktop app. So here it's put the application alongside my desktop. So I can, if I need to, come over here and see the app. And if I want to come back over here, I can use my desktop. So a good use of time would be if I was going to have my bank open on one. And then another really cool thing is, just like you could do in Windows 7, you can actually snap windows to the left or right of your desktop. So here I'm actually going to have my bank open, and for the sake of demonstration, let's say I want to open Excel. Now I can actually have all three things open. I can have my spreadsheet, my bank, and my finances, and I can go back and forth between these, see statistics, come over here and input statistics, really, really easily um, now with Windows 8. So now what's really cool is let's do this all with touch. Let's go ahead and close all these things just by dragging off and tossing it. And we'll go back to our start screen. So now using my touch, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open my stock by selecting it. And instead of left clicking the, or instead of, yeah, left clicking and dragging the application, I'm actually going to swipe down from the top like I'm going to close this application, but I'm going to drag it to the left side of my screen and let go. Then I'm going to tap in the open gray space, and I will launch my desktop application there as well. From here, I would tap on the Internet Explorer icon at the bottom of my screen, and I would tap and hold on the window and drag it to the left side of the desktop. Then I would launch Excel from the bottom of my screen, and I would tap and hold and drag this to the right side of the screen. thus allowing me to do the exact same thing all with touch. And then the slider bar right in here, all I do is tap and slide back and forth. And it allows me to move very fluidly and intuitively between the desktop and my stocks here, which I can also go through all with touching with my finger. After this, we would just drag and drop We'd close out our windows, we drag and drop the desktop and close it, and we drag and drop our finance app and close it, and we're right back to where we started. I hope this was helpful, and you have a wonderful day.